行開始How's it going everybody? Pete Bay here, PB for short, and today we're going to take a look at the Black Carbon. Um, there's a good amount that's been changed about it, so it's not completely the same. It's not like a, the Black Edinburgh situation. So right off the rip, the first thing you're going to notice is the smoke screen. So you're getting regular smoke screen that you can actually stay in instead of the fuel smoke that uh, follows you around. It's only smoke screen one, and you get one less charge of it. But I do like it because you can sit there and farm for a bit, a little safely. Now the other difference is the torpedoes. They are not deep water torpedoes like the line. They are regular torpedoes that can hit DDs. Now these do reload faster by like a couple seconds. Go a little further, but they have worse damage and worse uh, flooding chance. So regular Harbin sitting at a 22 second flooding chance. This one is sitting at 18. Now for the build I've elected to go, it's main battery reload slot one, propulsion slot two, and then concealment in slot three. I did toy around with dispersion in slot one. Honestly, you can go either or, but I felt like the guns were accurate enough that I just wanted the reload to call it a day and try to get more permanent fires and stuff like that. Now the guns are very good. They haven't been changed at all still the same as the tech tree version but that doesn't mean they're bad it's they're good guns the 130s they hit hard especially light targets like atlanta's you know um other harbins things like that and especially dds if you're using ap uh, i might be using ap too much a little bit on this to cow but i was still getting a couple full pens so it was worth it end up picking the kill all good now the ship maneuvers pretty decently um not the best, but not the worst I've seen. Definitely not very survivable. Once you, uh, you take a couple battleship salvos, it's gonna hurt. So just keep that in mind. But luckily you do have the smoke to kind of conceal yourself. The time to full speed is better on the Black Harbin, but that's the only thing in the maneuverability category that is better. Uh, everything else is exactly the same. For those that don't know, the fire chance is 4% on these guns. They reload at 5.8 seconds if you're not boosting it. At least that's what it says when you're comparing the ships. Down here in the actual game, I got the reload down to about 5.1 seconds. So this thing becomes a pretty capable fire starter, to be honest. Plus, with the amount of torpedoes you can dish out, because you do have that reload booster, there's a good chance you can get a flood, get the damage control, and then get some permanent fires. For some reason, I find Black Harbin to play easier than the Tech Tree version. Um, I'm not saying the Tech Tree version is bad at all. Like, if you don't really care for the changes, it doesn't matter. Harbin's still a great ship if you can play it right. Honestly, it just comes down to preference. I prefer regular smoke over fuel smoke if I had the choice. So, I guess it, I just find it easier to play. It, it allows you to farm a little more efficiently and safely but keep in mind that people can still shoot to smoke so you still want to be kind of angling in and maneuvering in so in your smoke that is now normally i get focused heavily when i test uh, new ships out that people haven't seen but for some reason when i tested this out people kind of have ignored me which you know i'm completely fine with it allows me to fully farm and test things properly kind of like how it would be in a regular match but uh, yeah, it, it went quite nicely, I must say. Sitting at 63k, three kills, still four players on the team right now. You know exactly what I'm hunting. I'm hunting that Kraken, all right? Of course, I sent some torps out on both sides here at the Hipper and the Bismarck. Unfortunately, I hit nothing, absolutely nothing. I expected them to sail in straight lines. It did not happen. So. We're gonna do a risky broadside maneuver here. Luckily, Bismarck was shooting HE, so, you know, didn't have to worry too much about getting heavily damaged there. Now the beauty with these torps is that they reload so quick. All right, so as soon as you're launching one side, it honestly feels like you could just turn the ship and the next set is ready to go. That's kind of the power of this line or this ship in general. Enemy ship 
Now because of that you can get a lot of floods and not that many people if they have a damage control and get a flood on them are going to sit there and hold on to that flood. Uh, I know I don't really do it because the floods end up doing a lot of damage. So everybody's pretty much going to put out a flood. Doesn't matter. But with that you then start working them over with the guns and get some permanent fires. Fortunately for us we didn't really need that. We just killed them with the damage, the alpha damage from the torpedoes. All we have is this Admiral Hipper to kill. He could be our Kraken, but everybody is shooting at him. Every single person over there. Um, trying to get some fires going. I'm not going to swap to the AP because the AP is just going to bounce. Now with these types of ships, especially with the guns, uh, you do rely when shooting heavily armored targets on that RNG. All right, fortunately we get that fire. Do we get another? We do get another and that fire actually ends up taking him and taking him down for the Kraken Unleashed. All in all, I've been enjoying the ship. I think it's a lot of fun. Definitely love the changes with the smoke and the non-deep water torps. I think it's a threat now, especially to DDs if you just launch them. But uh, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Tell me what you think. But yeah, until next time.